Prairie Gleaners produces thousands of packages of a dehydrated vegetable mix every year from unmarketable produce which is donated to us. Over the past nine years, our volunteers have shipped millions of meals to about 50 different nations. Countries, which also waste a high percentage of locally grown food. There is no shortage of food in the world, but there remains many hungry people. It's estimated just one quarter of what is currently being lost is enough to eliminate hunger. Food producers are handicapped in countries lacking the infrastructure for cold storage, adequate drying and storage options, challenging access to markets and processing opportunities, especially when markets are overwhelmed at harvest times. In these situations, most of the food waste occurs at the pre-consumer stage. Recently, while in a country which suffers from one of the highest levels of malnutrition, I was especially surprised to see small-scale farmers and vendors discard fruits and vegetables which were not cosmetically appealing. Produce just like we salvage at Prairie Gleaners. Here are some examples of lost opportunities. Only the uniform-sized large carrots were bagged for sale. Small, odd-shaped carrots were sorted out. Bruised peppers and damaged tomatoes seen here were set by the curb, then to be picked up by the trash collector, who was paid by the vendors to cart these vegetables away. Food which is beautifully presented coming from the fields is appealing to buyers, but that which doesn't look so good is tossed. What if entrepreneurs could build and market an inexpensive solar dryer, similar to the one shown here? Small bunches of carrots or tomatoes or peppers, fruit, fish, currently being lost every day from the thousands of growers and sellers, could be preserved. This may be one underutilized way to help eliminate hunger. Consider the directive from the Lord Jesus after the feeding of the 5,000.